Hello, welcome to Movie Louder. Once upon a time in a quaint neighborhood, there lived two inseparable friends named Melissa and Kelvin. They were the craziest of best friends, sharing laughter and mischief that made their bond unbreakable. One peaceful night, as Melissa was lost in a deep slumber, a sudden and vigorous knock on her door jolted her awake. Curious and a bit annoyed, she stumbled to the door to find Kelvin standing there, urgently pleading to spend the night. He explained that he had a crucial meeting the next day and needed a place to stay. Reluctantly, Melissa agreed, and in the quiet hours of the night, Kelvin found himself in Melissa's room. Lying on her bed, he seemed troubled, prompting Melissa to question his untimely intrusion. With a hint of irritation, she reminded him that it was 3 a.m. Intrigued, Melissa pressed further, wondering why Kelvin had left his own house just to seek refuge in hers. Kelvin, in a fit of frustration, confessed about a troublesome girl he referred to as a witch, causing disturbances during intimate moments. Amused, Melissa couldn't help but burst into laughter at his predicament. Driven by curiosity, Melissa questioned the necessity of Kelvin spending every night with the girl. Kelvin revealed that it wasn't his idea, but rather the girl who insisted on his nightly presence. Their friendship thrived on playful banter and shared laughter, making them the perfect pair of crazy best friends. The following morning, as Melissa engaged in conversation with another guy, Kelvin, curious about their discussion, mischievously pulled off her hair tie. Melissa, looking bewildered, chased him away, leaving the guy thoroughly entertained. Later that day, as Melissa sat on the living room floor enjoying her meal, Kelvin entered and joined her. The two friends shared food, laughter, and playful antics, reveling in the joy of each other's company. As the day unfolded, Kelvin, with a sly grin, requested Melissa to leave his apartment. He confessed that he was expecting a lovely visitor. Melissa, being her stubborn self, adamantly refused to leave, insisting on witnessing the encounter between Kelvin and the mysterious girl. The next day, when a visitor arrived at Kelvin's door, Melissa barged in with a pot in her hands, claiming gas issues and demanding to finish cooking in Kelvin's kitchen. In the midst of it all, Kelvin informed her that she couldn't leave with the food and insisted they eat together. Melissa, looking dumbfounded, found herself caught up in yet another comical escapade with her crazy best friend. After the cooking session, Kelvin went to answer a persistent knock at the door. Opening it, he warmly welcomed his girlfriend Tessie inside. They shared a sweet kiss, and Kelvin confessed how much he missed her. However, Tessie, displaying a hint of jealousy, inquired about Melissa, Kelvin's best friend. Detecting a pleasant aroma, Kelvin explained that Melissa had visited and cooked for him due to a gas shortage in her own kitchen. Intrigued, Tessie strolled majestically to the kitchen, complimenting Melissa's culinary skills. Meanwhile, Melissa, accompanied by her friend Sarah, expressed her frustration about leaving her food at Kelvin's place for another girl to enjoy. Sarah, not pleased with the situation, assumed Melissa should be angry. Melissa admitted her anger, but confessed she didn't know how to handle her emotions. She suggested they go out to eat, but Sarah disagreed, claiming that Melissa and Kelvin wouldn't kill her. The following day, Tessie and Kelvin found themselves in a serious argument. Tessie, tired of feeling used, demanded that Kelvin propose to her before she reached her breaking point. In response, Kelvin, fueled by anger, explained he wasn't ready and didn't want to be pressured. The argument escalated, leading Kelvin to chase Tessie out of his house, ending their relationship. Melissa, witnessing the dramatic scene, was left bewildered by the unfolding drama. Later that day, Kelvin confided in his friend Nick about the breakup with Tessie. He expressed his reluctance to commit to someone he didn't know well and mentioned having a long list of girls to consider, leaving Nick amused. The next day, Melissa and Kelvin headed to the gym together. Melissa noticed Jake's, the gym owner, and began making advances toward him. Jake's, captivated by her enchanting gestures and smiles, couldn't resist her charm. After the gym session, Kelvin playfully challenged Melissa to collect Jake's number. Confident, Melissa accepted the challenge. Jake's, busy instructing a student, was approached by Melissa, who introduced herself as a consistent customer at the gym. Through the glass, Kelvin observed as Melissa complimented Jake's, asked him out on a date, and successfully obtained his contact information. 
Outside in the parking lot, Melissa walked toward Kelvin, who eagerly inquired if she had collected Jake's number. With a triumphant smile, Melissa confirmed her success, and both Kelvin and Melissa happily entered the car, ready for their next adventure. Melissa couldn't wait to share the details of her date with Jake's with her friend Sarah. As she narrated the incident, Sarah was surprised, and the two burst into laughter. Curious about Melissa's plans, Sarah asked if she would go on another date with Jake's, to which Melissa enthusiastically confirmed her availability. Later that day in Melissa's room, Kelvin, her best friend, offered his assistance in choosing a dress for her next date. Playfully ridiculing her wardrobe choices, Kelvin unintentionally angered Melissa, who vowed not to seek his fashion advice anymore. On the actual date between Melissa and Jake's, they engaged in conversation while sharing a meal. Melissa couldn't help but admire Jake's, captivated by his words and presence. Later that night, Kelvin eagerly awaited Melissa's return to hear about her experience. Melissa, in detail, recounted the entire evening, praising Jake's for being well organized, which left Kelvin surprised. The story took an unexpected turn when Kelvin, in a serious tone, proposed investigating Jake's background. Perplexed, Melissa scolded Kelvin for considering a background check on her date, but it turned out to be a playful joke, with both friends laughing and enjoying the banter. As night fell, Melissa got ready to go out again. Kelvin, curious about her plans, asked if she would be spending the night. Melissa, evading the question, instructed Kelvin to take care of her house as she left. Kelvin was left surprised and puzzled by Melissa's outing to see Jake's. Alone at home, he played a game by himself, but soon grew bored and started worrying about Melissa not returning. Consumed by anxiety and jealousy, Kelvin decided to drive to Jake's house, contemplating whether to go in and drag Melissa out. In the midst of his contemplation, Kelvin received a call from a girl named Laura, who claimed Kelvin had invited her to his house. Annoyed, Kelvin told Laura he was not available and asked her to leave. Hanging up, he continued to wait anxiously. Meanwhile, at Jake's house, Jake's was engrossed in a phone call with a supplier discussing gym equipment. Irritated, Melissa stood up, signaling her intention to leave. However, Jake's ordered her to wait, emphasizing his busy schedule. Melissa explained that she understood, but had been invited to witness Jake's taking calls. Glancing at the time, Jake's assumed Melissa should spend the night, but she objected and left. Kelvin, still anxiously waiting in his car, spotted Melissa driving away. Relieved, he decided to follow her to ensure she got home safely, his worry turning into a genuine concern for his best friend's well-being. One evening, both Melissa and Kelvin arrived home simultaneously. Kelvin, curious about Melissa's late entry, inquired, leaving her surprised and amused. In turn, Melissa asked about Kelvin's tardiness, and mistakenly, Kelvin mentioned coming from Jake's house. Shocked, Melissa pointed out that no sensible man would accompany a woman to her lover's house. Calmly, she warned Kelvin against such actions, leaving him speechless. Later that night, Melissa found it hard to sleep and decided to leave her room. In his own apartment, Kelvin was worried and thinking about Melissa. As they bumped into each other outside their apartments, they burst into laughter and started playing, expressing how much they had missed each other. Melissa eventually apologized to Kelvin, acknowledging his concern for her safety. She also revealed that Jake's had a side profession, surprising Kelvin. Although amused by Melissa's plan to spend the night, Kelvin got turned off by the idea. The following day, Melissa drove with her friend Sarah, explaining Kelvin's care and kindness. Sarah was skeptical, suggesting that Kelvin might be jealous. Melissa defended Kelvin, asserting that he was genuinely caring. Later that night, Kelvin sat outside his apartment and noticed Jake's walking in. Jake's recalled seeing Melissa and Kelvin at the gym, and Kelvin admitted it. Jake's began to inquire about the friendship between Kelvin and Melissa before Kelvin turned the tables, asking Jake's the same question. Kelvin questioned Jake's about his intentions towards Melissa, emphasizing that she was a special friend not to be played with. Melissa came out, hugging Jake's, interrupting their conversation and leaving Kelvin jealous. In Melissa's room, Jake's and Melissa enjoyed their time until Melissa accidentally farted, shocking and angering Jake's. He insulted her, 
calling her dirty and disrespectful, leaving Melissa speechless. One day, Jakes found himself preparing to leave due to Melissa's irritating and what he considered disgusting behavior. Although Melissa apologized for her indecency, Jakes, instead of listening, exaggerated about her supposedly polluting the air. Angrily, he left, leaving Melissa dumbfounded. Feeling frustrated, Melissa went after Jakes, who continued his exaggerations and assumed that if they were to be together and have children, she would behave in a dirty manner. Jakes warned her to stay away, slamming the door as he left. Seeking solace, Melissa turned to Kelvin's apartment that night, only to be more disappointed as a girl walked out dressed in nighties. Later that same night, Kelvin visited Melissa, asking her to narrate what happened with Jakes. Still angry and disappointed, Melissa explained Jakes's exaggerated behavior due to her supposedly polluting the air. Kelvin was shocked, but couldn't help bursting into laughter. Melissa begged Kelvin to stay at her place for them to have a fun night, and Kelvin agreed. The following morning, Melissa watched a football match, inviting Jakes to join her. However, Jakes, busy on his system, ignored her invitation. Meanwhile, Kelvin was engrossed in a football match in his own apartment. Melissa inquired why Jakes wasn't contributing to the match discussion. Jakes dismissed it, claiming he had work to do and didn't want to waste time on entertainment. Ignoring his comments, Melissa continued watching, making Jakes uncomfortable and tired. After the match, Kelvin texted Melissa, and they started chatting about the football game, drawing a thin line between likeness, affection, and love. Later, after Jakes had left, Melissa and Kelvin had lunch together. Kelvin advised Melissa about not discomforting herself to please a man. He suggested that if the relationship wasn't working, she should let the guy go. Melissa talked about Jakes's lifestyle and wished he was more like Kelvin, to which Kelvin proudly praised himself. The following day, Melissa attempted to have a conversation with Jakes about their relationship, but Jakes ignored her, claiming to be busy. Calmly, Melissa took away his system, leading Jakes to question her actions as violent. Melissa opened up about the challenges of being in a good relationship with someone like him, leaving Jakes amused and unable to understand what Melissa truly wanted. Melissa made a sincere effort to express her needs to Jakes, emphasizing the importance of time, affection, connection, attention, and a committed relationship. However, Jakes, feeling bored or perhaps confused, commented that he didn't understand women, leaving Melissa feeling hopeless. As time passed, Melissa and Jakes found a connection and their conversations deepened. Melissa pleaded with Jakes to create time for their relationship, expressing her desire to have fun and spend quality time with the man she loved. After some convincing, Jakes agreed and promised to pick up Melissa the next day at 7 p.m. for a movie date. They hugged each other, looking forward to the planned outing. Meanwhile, Kelvin invited Melissa's friend Sarah to his house, sharing his concerns about Melissa. Sarah, feeling annoyed, narrated an incident where Melissa pranked Kelvin about being sick, leading him to leave her and drive back, labeling Melissa as the weirdest person. That evening, Melissa dressed up for her outing with Jakes, but was left dissatisfied as he failed to keep to the agreed time. Jakes, apologizing and explaining that he had forgotten about their plans, suggested rescheduling. Frustrated, Melissa called him out, expressing her disappointment. Jakes, tired and ready to leave, left Melissa frustrated. Later that night, Sarah and Kelvin visited Melissa, inquiring about her upset appearance. In a mix of sadness and anger, Melissa explained the cancelled outing. Disturbed, Kelvin presented a meal to Melissa, claiming it was her favorite dish. Melissa was happy, and Sarah joined in the joy. After Melissa left, Sarah confided in Kelvin about her feelings for him, expressing doubts about Melissa's comfort in any other relationship. Kelvin was taken aback by Sarah's confession. The following morning, Melissa and Jakes had breakfast together. Melissa stared at Jakes as he ate, creating a moment of abstract silence and introspection. Melissa, lost in thought, reflected on how she and Kelvin would playfully interact while eating together. Bursting into laughter, she confused Jakes, who asked the reason for her amusement. Melissa replied that Jakes wouldn't understand. Kelvin, preparing to leave the house, encountered Melissa dressed and waiting for a ride to her office. Perplexed, Kelvin inquired about her car, 
and Melissa explained a shortage of petrol. Kelvin insisted she get a petrol can to refuel, but as soon as Melissa went inside, Kelvin quickly drove off, leaving her feeling betrayed and abandoned by her best friend. The next day, Kelvin, Melissa, and Sarah were outside, engaging in childish behavior. Their moment was interrupted by Jake's, who came to beg for Melissa's forgiveness and proposed to her. Melissa, looking shocked, accepted Jake's proposal. Kelvin, angered, left as Jake's and Melissa hugged. Melissa, feeling confused and uncertain, sought solace in her friend Sarah. Sarah, offering words of advice, urged Melissa to follow her heart and cautioned her against making a mistake that could shatter her forever. Left in contemplation, Melissa grappled with her emotions. Meanwhile, Kelvin, experiencing frustration, jealousy, and sadness, sought refuge in alcohol to numb his feelings. Kelvin's somber mood was abruptly interrupted by a persistent banging on his door. Opening it, he found Melissa demanding to talk. They engaged in a conversation where Kelvin expressed concern, explaining that their lives, along with Jake's, would be in jeopardy if Melissa married Jake's. Confused by Kelvin's revelation, Melissa was left grappling with her emotions. Kelvin took a bold step, confessing his true feelings to Melissa. He declared that if she were to get married, it had to be to him and no one else. Overwhelmed by the revelation, Melissa left Kelvin standing, pondering the complexity of their relationship. Back at Melissa's apartment, she reflected on the advice given by Sarah and Kelvin. The following morning, Melissa interrupted Kelvin's phone call, confessing her deep connection to him and demanding that he change his womanizing ways. Determined to prove his commitment, Kelvin cut ties with all his other relationships. Later that night, Melissa witnessed one of Kelvin's girls leaving his apartment heartbroken, a sight that brought her a sense of satisfaction. The next morning, Kelvin discussed with his friend Nick about changing his lifestyle for someone special, unknowingly leaving Melissa concerned as she eavesdropped. In a bold move, Melissa visited Jake's at his place, confessing that he wasn't the one for her and calling off their engagement. Jake's, taken aback and insulted, reluctantly accepted her decision. Grateful for the change in her life, Melissa removed the engagement ring and left. Kelvin, disturbed and barely eating, received a knock on his door, assuming it was one of his girls. To his shock, Melissa stood stylishly at the door. As she walked in, they shared a passionate kiss, marking a transition from friendship to a love affair beyond anyone's imagination. The story teaches us that genuine love and friendship can overcome confusion and challenges. It highlights the importance of following one's heart, being true to oneself, and choosing a partner who values and respects you. The characters, Melissa and Calvin, show that open communication and honesty are essential in relationships. Ultimately, the story emphasizes the idea that true love can blossom unexpectedly from a strong foundation of friendship, and that it's worth taking a risk for the person who truly understands and cares for you. The journey from confusion to clarity, in matters of the heart, is portrayed as a significant aspect of personal growth and fulfillment. Please subscribe to Move Louder and Cree Authority for more exciting updates. Until next time.